everyone, I am Gwen and welcome to my channel. This is my first educative video and in this video, let's talk about the item analysis. Once a teacher has constructed a test, the test should be evaluated in terms of difficulty and discriminating power, and then validated in order to ensure that the final version of the test would be useful and functional. The first in this process is the tryout phase. The teacher conducts a test to a group of students intended for the test and the papers are scored. From the try group, each item will be analyzed in terms of its difficulty and ability to discriminate those who know and who do not know in the lessons they are tested. Let's talk about the item analysis. Item analysis determines two important features in a test item the item difficulty, and discrimination index. In the usual way, item difficulty is obtained by dividing the number of students who got correct answer in the item by the total number of students who took the test. If you want to express it in terms of percentage, multiply the result by 100. So the formula is this. Item difficulty or the ID equals to the number of students with correct answer divided by the total number of students who took the test. For example, in test item number 1, out of 46 students who took the test, 28 students got the right answer. What is the item difficulty of test item number 1? To answer this, we must use the formula of the item difficulty. So ID is equal to 28, which is the number of students with correct answer, divided by 46, which is the total number of students who took the test. 28 divided by 46 is equal to 0 0.6086956 and so on and so forth or we will round it to the two decimal places so it will become 0 0.61 for interpretation of results the following is the arbitrary table so we have here the range of difficulty interpretation and decision so if the range of difficulty is 0 to 0 0.25 the interpretation is difficult and the decision is revised or discard if the range of difficulty is 0 0.26 to 0 0.75, the interpretation is right difficult and the decision is retained. And if the range of difficulty is 0 0.76 and above, the interpretation is easy and a decision is revised or discard. Basing on this table, the item difficulty of test item number 1 which is 0 0.61 belongs here. And so, it has an interpretation of right difficulty and the decision is retained. So, test item number 1 is retained in the test. Let us now proceed to the discrimination index. Discrimination index or the DI is the power of the test item to distinguish students who know and those who do not know in the lesson they are evaluated. To derive such measure is to measure how difficult is a test item to the upper group or fast learners and how difficult it is to the lower group or slow learners. If the upper group found the test item easy but the lower group found it difficult, then the item can discriminate between the two groups. To find the value of discrimination index, we have to adapt the UL index method where we have to form group of students who belong to the upper group or the U and the lower group or the L. The formula for discrimination index or DI is this. 
di is equal to the ru minus rl divided by one half t where ru is the number of students in the upper group who answered the item correctly and the rl is the number of students in the lower group who answered the item correctly and the t is the total number of students in the upper and lower groups if you want the discrimination index in percent you must multiply the result by 100 example there were 80 students who took the test and in test item number two 19 students in the upper 25 percent have right responses while in the lower 25 percent seven students have right responses determine the discrimination index first we will find the 25 percent of the students who took the test which is 80 so 25 percent of 80 is 20. so the lower group has 20 students and so with the upper group next we will write the given so our ru or the number of students in the upper group who have right responses is 19 and the rl or the number of students in the lower group who have right responses is 7. now we will use the formula of the discrimination index so 19 which is the ru minus 7 which is the rl divided by one half times the students in the upper group which is 20 plus the students in the lower group which is also 20. We have 19 minus 7 is 12 divided by one half times 20 plus 20 is 40. 12 divided by one half of 40 is 12 over 20. So 12 divided by 20 is equal to 0 0.6 discriminating item include the test item. For interpretation of results, the following is the arbitrary table. We have here the range of discrimination, the interpretation, and a decision. If the range of discrimination is negative 1 to negative 0 0.5, the interpretation can discriminate but item is questionable and a decision is discarded. If the range of discrimination is negative 49 to 0 0.45, the interpretation is non-discriminating and the decision is revised. And if the range of discrimination is 0 0.46 to 1, the interpretation is discriminating item and the decision is included. Test item number 2 above has a discrimination index 0 0.6 and it belongs here. The interpretation is discriminating and the decision is include. The teacher must include her or his test item number 2 in the test. Using the UL index method, for item difficulty, the formula is this. Item difficulty or the ID is equal to the RU plus RL divided by T. Let us solve the item difficulty of the above example. So it would be ID is equal to the RU plus RL divided by T. 19 which is our RU plus 7 which is our RL divided by the T which is 20 plus 20. 19 plus 7 is equal to 26 divided by 20 plus 20 which is 40. 26 divided by 40 is equal to 0 0.65. So 0 0.65 has the right difficulty and the decision is retained. And that's it for this video. Bye-bye!